Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulk Gun. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I base the Soul Blight Grave Lords. If you'd like to support the channel, our Coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now on to the video. So this is the kind of stuff that we're going to be working on during this video. It's got the little pools of liquid. You've got some little standing up shrubs, a couple of grass tufts, some little flower tufts, and some pebbles. And then you've got the texture paint on the base too, the grey and the brown. So I'll be showing how I apply all of these. So that they look kind of like this, which is the Soul Black Gravelord Blood Knight from the Blood Knights video that I did a few weeks ago. So it's Citadel Astro Granite and Citadel Sterland Battlemire. I'm using the Citadel Texture Spreader tool, which is really quite handy. I used to use an old brush, but this is great because you can grab loads of stuff with one end and then you can kind of Squish it into where you need it to go with the thin end. So you're just spreading these out how you want them. The way I'm doing these bases is so that you've got kind of, the way I'm thinking it is, that you've got a kind of gravelly track, which is the grey part, and these are all kind of bursting out from sort of maybe woods or shrubs or grasslands or whatever onto the track. So the base on this chap will look a little bit busy once it's finished, but it's just showing all the different things that I'm using on this one particular base. So that you're getting all the techniques which will be spread out across all of them. But I'm just showing you all on this chap. So with the textures on, we're now going to use some Citadel Nuln Oil and wash the whole thing. All this does is darkens down the brown a little bit and gets you a little bit of darker shade in the recesses. And on the grey it does exactly the same. Now the grey is a little bit too smooth for how I usually like to have it. The Astro Granite I find a little bit watery and the Astro Granite Debris I find a little bit too dry so I usually mix them about 50-50 and it gives quite a nice spreadable lumpy paste. However there's a little bit too much Astro Granite in this one so it's slightly too runny. Once that's dry, we're just going to dry brush over the brown with Citadel Mournfang Brown. This lightens it up, just brings a few little highlights to it. You don't need to go overboard, just enough to get a little bit more colour on there. And that'll give you the nice three shades or so. So working on the grey parts, we're going to use Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. I'm just going to kind of wet brush this across the whole thing or heavily dry brush it so that you're getting lots of that initial grey colour back on. It looks a bit more like a wet brush on this because the Astro Granite is very smooth so it does cover some quite smooth areas. Next we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Dawnstone. This is just to lighten up the more raised areas on the grey. If you wanted to you can actually go a step further and use a little bit of white to highlight these two. That's not really necessary, you can just leave it with the Dawnstone if you want. So now I've made a few little ditches on it and we're going to use some AK Interactive Puddles, which is a glossy, kind of gloopy, slightly opaque liquid. When you put that in, that dries to a nice sheen. You sometimes have to give it a couple of little layers. You'll see on the next one it's still a bit wet. I'm going to use a little bit of Green Stuff World Tall Shrubbery. Now this comes all stuck together, like quite a mass of it. I always trim it down a little bit to the height that you want. So I'd always go for where it's joined, but I want them a bit shorter. So squeeze them all together, cut them, and then they will kind of stick together a little bit. The stuff is, or it seems to be, a little bit adhesive, which is quite handy. Then all I'm going to be using is a little spot of Loctite Super Glue. I would have thought pretty much any super glue would be fine. I couldn't get any of the normal brand super glue we use for quite some time during the lockdown, so I ended up grabbing some Loctite from Asda. And it is quite a mellow substitute, works pretty well and does dry pretty quick. So all you're doing is you're holding those down into the blob of super glue. And they will stand up and they will be held in place pretty well too. Now what you'll probably find is when the super glue dries, you'll end up 
with a kind of little blob of dried super glue there and it's sort of you know a little bit opaque it will have a kind of off-white blob when it's dried as you can see on that one there and all we do then is use the little grass tufts now you can get these from all different kinds of brands i think these ones were from green stuff world because i ordered a fair bit of stuff from them a while ago and what i tend to do is you can either use a big one and blob that over one side and then a small one and blob it over the other side and that will give you the coverage over the top of that blob of super glue or in the case of the other side what i've done is i use a few pieces of one big blob and just put them around the side so i've got a bit on the back a bit on the side here and you can use a small piece on the front and that'll give you less of the mound of grass that you can see on the other side that just gives you like a little tuft there with the taller shrubs growing through the top of it so i've added a couple more tufts to the base next up we're going to add a few little flowers to it what i tend to do is for each army if i'm having little flowers on the bases i'll have the same color going across all of the bases so the soul black grave lords i'm using little white flowers like this these are also from green stuff world but as i say there is loads of different places you can get these from you don't specifically have to use those if you don't want to but again i just super glue the underside of them stick them down and they will be fine on there so now i'm going to use a little bit of the thick hobby sand again this is green stuff will but there is loads of different places that you can get stuff like this from we're going to blob a little bit of super glue onto the base all we're going to do is drop individual pebbles on there or if you get one like this that keeps rolling away or like one of the other ones just stick them down on there and then just do a few little piles of these across the base it's the one that refuses to come off the thing when it's where it needs to be and there we go it's fired across the base winner so another little pile of rocks here like so now those little pebbles do stick out a little bit and the gravel looks a bit too grey so we're going to use a little bit of citadel grax air shade we're just going to darken down around these areas you can put a coat of this over the pebbles if you want i'm kind of doing this to make it look a little bit damp along the edge of the where the track joins the grass or where it joins the fields or what have you What's missing off this is I also use Citadel Athonian Camo Shade as well, which gives that kind of damp green look. I'll show you where to place that next. But if you want, you can put this over the rocks or in little around the puddles and around little different areas just to darken that up and make it look a bit, a bit soily, a bit dirty. When you're putting on the Athonian Camo Shade, which you'll see in the clip after it's been applied, but I'll point out where it's been. You can see that that does make it look a little bit a little bit damp so the Athenian camera shade across the front there i put it over the pebbles because the pebbles will be that bit damp from just lounging around in the soil all the time and around these areas here too so as i say it's quite a busy base because there's lots of little things going on on there but i'd usually use a few of these maybe four or five different little things on it just to make the base stand out and make it look good 
but wanted to show all of the different things that you use on these bases. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoy the content, and you'd like to support us, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.